Okay, welcome back to the class. So we'll be going on with our next topic, our next character. Like I always call the the chapters, I name them character because the fish famine is actually an attitude. It's called a character. So we'll be going on the next character, which is the four sectors of agri bees or the four sectors of fish. So we'll be going on the next uh, uh, class, which is the, the four sectors of fish farming. Four sectors of fish farming, which is character three. Okay, so the four sectors of fish farming, we have hatchery, we have melange, we have grow out, we have brew stock keeping. So if you don't if you don't want to do hatchery, you may you can decide to do melange, you can decide to do grow out, you can decide to do brew stock keeping. Or if you don't want to do any of this, you can engage in the marketing aspect of it, which you can be buying from the the farmers and reselling to consumers or you can be buying from farmers and you'll be buying this melange size or depending on the size which your market wants you can buy and then you smoke and export or you smoke and export to fast food to caterers to hotels to companies and to the local market okay so you can buy smoke and supply to any market of your choice okay so let us talk about hatchery section hatchery section this is the process of reproduction hatchery is the process of reproduction the male and female are used for hashing out the baby fishes which are called fries i hope you've known what is fries already so the marketing of this begins when the fishes are up to four weeks of age. If good management are given to the fries to fingerling stage, you can get at least 20,000 pieces of fish in one hatchery. Now you see, we didn't say fishes here because it is just one species of fish. You can sell as fingerlings of four weeks, post fingerlings of six weeks, or juveniles of eight weeks. Okay. Now we go for hashing equipment. Hashing equipment. Good water supply and overhead tank. You need it. Availability of electricity or power supply. You need it. Weighing scale, you need it. That's the record weight of fish. Cacaban, you need it to spread the eggs. New blade, you need it to cut open sperm meat. So you cut the the, the, the sperm of the male. You cut the you cut open the stomach to collect the sperm. Okay. So you need one liter plate to put sperm meat three liter bower to strip in the female egg before fertilization you need a rubber spoon to use in turning sperm and egg and egg together in a bower then 370 liter basin used in carrying fishes from one point to another you need two 120 liter jar to store fishes after injection, or you can also use the you can also use your ponds if you have more ponds. Okay, scissors to cut open the male belly, or you can also use blade to open. Saline water to be mixed with sperm and egg. Two mil or five mil syringe used for injecting the female fish scoop net or basket 
used for bringing out the fish from pond. Now, you also need clean towel to clean off blood or water. So you need to clean off your hands, clean off the blood in your hand or water before you handle the hatchery. Okay? Hatching process. Hatching process. So, I think when going into hatchery, you need to first identify your male and female fishes. Okay? You need to first identify your male and female fishes. So, we'll come to that in the next class and we'll show you images on how to identify your male and female fishes. You can see this process of of uh, checking your female fish if the egg is mature so you come back to the next class and get more details on that and we'll do on hashing process more of it thank you very much and stay tuned to the